Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of my Plants vs Zombies playthrough. We are down to the last three levels left in the whole game till the playthrough is done. We are going to be tackling survival pool hard version. And this time I'm going to stop my recording probably after wave four this time. But we're in the pool now so... This is where my strategy is going to get fairly intense. We're going to start using peas, but this is going to be a mixture of plants that I plan on using. Pumpkins are an absolute must for this strategy, and then we'll bring these two as well, just so that I can still get rid of zombies if I need. Okay, without further ado, let's on with this level. We're back in the pool, which is my favourite kind of survival, so nice to have this one again. This will be the last video I record. Last mode I do in this day. The last two survival modes I will record tomorrow, as I don't have work. We're coming. Survival pool is actually fairly challenging because of the severe number of zombies that you get. You get all kinds of zombies in this. And they appear very quickly as well. Like, don't think that you're only going to have the regular zombies. No, you're getting, you're getting snorkel zombies on the next one. Again, you just want to build up as many sunflowers as you can to start off with. Pretty much should know this by now. Uh, I've got to choose carefully which sunflowers I want to put them on because of what's going to have to change. I really love the full music, if I haven't said that already, which I probably have. Probably my second favourite song in the game, with the final boss being my favourite. Uh, those two are staying as twin sunflowers, so I'm not going to change them. That's the problem with the pool levels is the cone heads will get quite far. Because the cattail goes for the closest zombie to the house.
massive issue there. Majority of these twin sunflowers, um, not twin sunflowers, but the majority of these sunflowers will just be removed, so I've got to be careful. This might be a one-parter, actually, because this is going to go a lot quicker. This row that I just put that twin sunflower in, I'm not going to put too many down because I'm planning on digging them up soon. I don't need to put any more plants down because my strategy is going to alter drastically. So, this is where I'm going to change my strategy by quite a bit, depending on what zombies we get. So we've got Snorkel Zombies, and we have Jack in the Box Zombies. Other than that, that's not really a big problem. We're going to bring out Winter Melons, I'm going to bring out the Coffee Bean, and we're going to bring out Fume Shrooms again. And I'm also going to bring out the, the garlic of all plants. And we'll bring out the Gatling pea. I don't need any more twin sunflowers because most of those are just going to be removed. Just trying to think. Just trying to think how the strategy is envisioning. So yes, I won't put this one. garlic because I plan on using it soon but not straight away.
Right, and this should get rid of the pool problem with the zombies popping up on the final wave. up some of these winter melons if I get unlucky and get bumped on me, but I'm hoping that I won't be that unfortunate. You never know the survival card I've done this game. You could get any kind of zombie in levels like this. You've got to be extra careful. Plan your fun arms and just go through it. The pool is the craziest one. Bigger zombies, which is why I'm wearing the leftover regular sunflowers. Wow, that <laughs> Jack in the Box zombie did absolutely nothing. Okay. Loon zombies are not an issue. They are already dealt with thanks to the cattails. And I know I said I was going to use this plant on the roof, but I kind of don't want to. I kind of want to just get it out of the way. So we're going to use the cob cannon now. The last plant of the game that I have yet to show off. We're going to put down torch woods. We want more pumpkins. I want a couple more repeaters. And let's have a look at my lawn. We're going to uh, not do the Gatling P this time because I need to put down one more Fume Shroom. Or Gloom Shroom rather, to go on top of the Fume Shrooms, so we'll go deal with that. And then part two to this strategy is getting rid of these repeaters here. These things are ruthless. They don't mess around. And they take a little while to recharge, but once you get them back, they don't cost any suffering. Basically, click on point and bam, off they go. Right, I'm actually going to pause the. Re I'm actually going to pause this here because I'm going to end the episode off because I don't want to make the same mistake I made last time. I'm up to 15 minutes. It's going to override to like 25 if I'm not careful. That is going to be it for this episode. Catch you guys in the next one.